Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Tag Manager video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install Google Tag Manager in a WordPress website. So for those of you who don't have a Google Tag Manager account or container, the first step is you come to tagmanager.google.com and you click here on create an account. So we are going to name this account test Sotirius, which is my name. We're going to select the country we are in. So let's say Indonesia, and we're going to give our container a name. So I'm going to call it test container. The next thing we need to do is we need to select where this container is going to live. Is it going to live in a website, in an iOS application, Android application, or a different place? So in our case, we want to install this in a website. So we're going to select web. The next thing we need to do is we're going to create our account and new container. We are going to agree to terms and conditions. At some point, it will be nice if we also read them. And next, we're going to land on this screen. Now, when you land on this screen, immediately you're going to see that the system gives you some instructions on how to install Google Tag Manager. It says you need to copy the code below and paste it to every page of your website. You need to paste this string of code as high as possible in the head of the page. And you additionally need to uh, post, uh, paste this code in the opening body tag. Now, how can we do this? So first of all, even if you close this box, don't panic because you can always go to admin. And once you go to admin, you can click on install Google Tag Manager and you can find the same information here. Now, what we need to do is we're going to navigate to our WordPress website. And once we navigate to our WordPress website, obviously the backend, the first thing that we need to do is we need to install a plugin in order to attach the code as quickly and easily as possible. We need to add a new plugin. So what you need to do is you need to go to plugins and click on add new. The next step that you need to take here is you need to go here to search plugins and we're going to grab the plugin that is called WP code. Now you can do the same job with a lot of plugins, right? So this is just the plugin that I'm going to recommend to you because it is really smooth, it is really legit, and is going to really help you to install tracking codes very easily behind the scenes. So we're going to click here on install. The system is going to install this plugin behind the scenes. And then don't forget to click on activate. So we are also going to activate this plugin. So now we have this new plugin, WP code, that is activated in our WordPress website. Now, what we need to do is we need to scroll a little bit further down. And now you're going to see this option that is called code snippets. You see this option because we just installed this plugin that is called WP code. So you're going to click here on code snippets and you are going to select header and footer. So code snippets, header and footer. Once you go to header and footer now, this is how we are going to install the Google Tag Manager container. So we are going to copy this string of code. We are going to paste it here. And we are going to scroll a little bit further down. You see this is the header, this is the body. So we are going to copy the code that is meant to go in the head tag. And now we're going to copy the code that is meant to go to the body tag. We are going to paste it here save changes and that's all now your google tag manager is successfully installed behind the scenes in every page of your website if you want to verify that you did this correctly what you can do is you can go to the chrome store for those of you who are using pc and you are using google chrome there is an extension here that you can attach to your Chrome, which is called Tag Assistant. It's a free extension. So you can click here on the Tag Assistant. You can attach it to your Google Chrome. And how it works is you can visit your website. So let's say this is my personal website. You can activate this extension. So you can activate the Tag Assistant here. You can click Enable. And then you need to refresh your website once you click Enable and go 
and click on the tag assistant again. And the tag assistant will actually show you all the Google tags that are behind the scenes in your website. You should be able to see that there is a Google tag manager with the unique identification number that you use to install in your WordPress website and a smiley green face. That's it on how to verify whether you did this correctly. I hope that you found this video useful and you already have the Google Tag Manager installed behind the scenes in your WordPress website. Have a great day in any time zone and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it helps us tremendously to create new content. See you in the next video.